Have you heard about the new wearable to give the Aura Ring a run for its money? It's called the Circular Smart Ring. Now I've just received the sizing kit for this ring and in this video I'm going to share what you need to know about this new wearable plus we're going to look at the sizing kit process. Hey guys, Alex here from AlexFigures.com. Now if you've been following me, following me for a while you may have seen my reviews of the Aura Ring or you may have even just noticed that I often wear this ring uh, on my finger. I have been an Aura Ring user for many years since the first, I think it was, it was an Indiegogo or Kickstarter campaign many, many years ago with the bulky uh, Gen 1 ring. Uh, this is now the third generation Aura Ring. But what's exciting and um, what I'm going to talk about today is the new, uh, let's say, rival to the Aura Ring. So there's been a lot of um, wearables that you know, compete with the Aura Ring, your Fitbits, your, your watches, your smart watches and stuff like that. Um, there have been a few rings, wearable smart rings on the market, but nothing's really taken off and nothing really interested me uh, enough to even review them, let alone purchase one. So um, that all changes with the circular smart ring. Now, I've been hear hearing about this product for some time now, may have, it may even be about a year. Uh, I think they had a Kickstarter campaign. Um, there's been a lot of hype around it. It looks good on paper, the features and stuff. So I'm excited that this has finally arrived today, the, the sizing kit, because that means the ring itself should be here soon. Now I just checked the website, it is meant to be shipping uh, September or October in this year. So yeah, only a couple of months away. So what I thought I'd do is have a look at the sizing kit and, and the ring, the mock-up rings inside it. We can get our first uh, impression of what these new rings are going to be like. But also uh, run through some of the key things you, you need to know about this ring. If this is the first time you've heard about it, then this video will, will cover the key features. Of course, you can head over to the Circular website. I believe it's circular.xyz, but I'll put a link below uh, to send you to the right page, to the right website. Um, so yeah, in this video, I'm going to run through the key, key features, uh, any comments on them, if, this, if something really stands out or is unusual, uh, I'll share my thoughts on it. I'm going to do a paper comparison uh, feature-wise with the circular ring and the aura ring, the, the big differences. A few things I'm looking forward to testing and finding out about, you know, when the ring does arrive. Then we're going to have a quick look at the sizing kit and the process of locking in your size. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so what do you need to know about the circular ring? Well, when you go over to their website, you'll see the tagline, join the personal health revolution. Uh, and then you'll see it's got sleep, energy, training, health, evolved. Um, those are the key terms. Um, so already you know that it's gonna be measuring your sleep, uh, energy, we'll dive into what exactly that means soon, training, health, and then evolve for full circle. So first things first, let's look at what it measures. And there's quite a few things here. I had to jot them down because it was quite an extensive list. So we've got blood oxygen, which is neat because that is um, a new feature in the third generation Aura Ring, um, which still hasn't been released, I believe. It measures temperature. However, it's temperature variation like the Aura Ring, which is a bit of a bummer um, because it, it, I mean, it's good because it will show like if you come down with a fever and it will show the spikes, but you don't get like a, an actual reading. You don't wake up and think, you know, find out that, okay, your temperature is uh, 37.2 degrees Celsius today. Uh, you just get variation. So I, it's good, but um, I wish there was an exact number. I don't know why. They could just index it, create a baseline, even if you had to do a, a, your own reading and say this was my you know, oral temperature today and then it works off that. But hey, it is what it is. Um, you get an energy, it measures your energy. Now I thought this was gonna be like a, how many calories you burnt type thing, um, but it's more of a score. I don't 100% know what, uh, how it derives that score. Uh, that is something that I'll have to look into and cover in my full, full review, which by the way, I will be doing um, when I have tested the, the circular ring later on this year, so be sure to subscribe for that. It tracks your steps and apparently can tell the difference between walking and running. It will be interesting because when I like mow the lawns with my aura ring, it thinks I'm doing you know, a ton of activity, which I'm not. Um, so it'll be interesting like testing that um, feature. It measures your respiration or your breathing rate, which is neat. Uh, measures your sleep and, and um, differentiate, differentiates between all your sleep cycles. So I'll be testing that, see how accurate it is. Uh, it measures your heart rate variability or your HRV, 
Uh, it measures your heart rate using a PPG measurement um, technology, which I believe is what the Aura Ring uses. Uh, it measures your cardio, which is um, cardio points. It's like, I guess your activity levels. And this is where I'm a bit confused as to how that differs from your energy. So again, I'll look into that in the full review. Uh, your resting heart rate, your VO2 max, which, which is very interesting because, um, yeah, I mean, I know like my polar here, you can, you can do a VO2 max test and it, it tells you what to do on the running machine or, or uh, on your bike and it um, measures your heart rate. So it'll be interesting to see how accurate that is or if it's more of a gimmick feature. And then it's got your recovery score, um, which factors in sleep, energy, whatnot, and, and all your baseline uh, vitals. And then it will use some uh, fancy algorithm to tell you, you know, if you're well recovered. So yeah, um, pretty neat things, similar to the Aura Ring, um, but there's a few little, well, a few new things in there, um, which is cool. Now, that's what the Circular Ring is going to measure. The Circular Ring also has uh, live measurements, which show your blood oxygen, your heart rate variability, and your heart rate, which is pretty cool. I'm surprised respiration rate isn't in there, but um, the live measurement feature is, is pretty neat. Um, something that I think could be quite useful, especially after you know, a workout or something like that. I don't know if you have to be stationary to get these readings like you do with the Aura Ring. Um, it'd be cool if you didn't have to be stationary because then you could be on the treadmill or, or on a um, bike machine, for instance, and you could see your blood oxygen, which would be neat. I have a feeling though, it's, it's not gonna be that way. You'll have to be still just because of how small these devices are and um, you know, it's a big ask, but anyway, we will see. Now, Circular have also incorporated their new, um, well, of course it's new, their personal feed uh, smart assistant um, recommendation function feature. Now, um, there's quite a few screenshots and information about this feature over on the Circular website, so if you're super keen to find out more about this, head over there. It looks good. They are trying to make it that it um, uses natural language rather than like generic sort of you know, your resting heart rate was up today rest uh, you should you should maybe take it easy it looks like they're trying to utilize a bit of um you know ai type thing in there so to make it a look a little bit more I don't know, like you've got someone telling you hey like an assistant hey you know it looks like your your sleep was really bad um your activity was high yesterday your temperature's up you know, maybe take it easy today. I, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe the, the only difference between my first example and the second one was my tone of voice. So I don't think it's going to um, read out to, to you uh, in, in person. Now, before I move on, I really do want to hammer home the point that Circular really uh, seem to be emphasizing how they're utilizing all this data and trying to empower, empower you as the user, as the, the, the wearer, um, to try and like, condense it all and, and give you key takeaways. I mean, so they've got a, a statement here on the website that they, they're using seven bio um, biomarker inputs, you know, your heart rate, your, your movement and whatnot, your sleep. Uh, then they, they have 142 derived metrics from, from those um, inputs. And based on that information, then they can um, spit out nearly 2,000 recommendations, and they say that's growing. So obviously as they get more data, they do more testing, their team expands and whatnot, you know, they're gonna be able to create even more and more recommendations. So that is, that is pretty cool, and I think that could be a big difference between the Aura Ring. I feel like the Aura Ring does the basics well, but it doesn't really go into more in-depth in stuff. But hey, I don't want this to be an Aura versus uh, Circular video. That is something I probably will do later on. But again, it looks like that's that's the path they're sort of going down. They're really trying to, it's like the hardware's done, you know, like they, they've got that, they've figured that out, Aura figured it out, Circular figured it out. They can take all these um, readings now. It's more what they're doing with that data and how they like, you know, making that more useful uh, for the end user, which is which is going to be neat. Now, I do want to mention a few other key features with the circular ring, um, especially because these are quite different to the Aura Ring, so um, you know, it's quite exciting. So, the first one is the ring. The circular ring has an inbuilt vibration feature, so you can enable alarms. You know, you can get it to to wake you up at a certain time. Uh, you can um, get feedback from alerts. You know, maybe it will buzz when you've 
your heart rate get, gets to a certain zone. I'm not too sure, but that functionality should be there. Uh, you can also get notifications, so you can sync it. You, know, you can link it with your phone function and it will vibrate, for instance, if a call goes off. I think, I think that's what it does. Again, I'll, I'll test all this when we, when we get it, um, which is cool. But it also has a button, it has a built-in button. So again, the Aura Ring, there was nothing on it. You know, it's just a plain band, which is kind of cool. There were no moving parts. But the new Circular Ring has a, a button on it. So apparently you can utilize that button to control things. Um, I don't really know what, um, but hey, it's there and I'm sure there'll be some neat features with that. Also, you can get um, changeable outer shells. So there's actually four colors with the aura ring. You, you choose the color and then that's it. With the circular, um, I think you choose the color when you order it and then you can also purchase extra outer rings. So uh, outer bands or outer shells as they call it. So you've got your black, which is more for durability and, and you know scratch resistant. Then you've got like your gold and rose gold. And I think there's a silver as well. So you know, you can accessorize, you can use the, the appropriate color to match your outfit or, or whatever. Um, I thought they all came with it. I, based on my initial uh, reading of the website, I thought, you know, the, the box would come with all these outer shells and you swap them around. But you know, you have to do, you have to pay uh, $35 extra to get one of those colors, which is you know, a little bit steep, but hey, um, still it's it's a nice to have option so if you want that spend the money if not then at least you know you're not paying for something you don't want what about price so at the moment they're taking orders and the price is 264 us dollars i don't know if that's a launch special or anything like that but that's what's over on their website i am going to push uh to get a discount code or some sort of um yeah, deal going for you guys. Um, you know, even if it's something like use my code Alex and you'll get a free outer shell or something like that. I'm not too sure. So um, check the links below or the, or the comment section below because at the moment I don't know what that discount is or, or if, if I can even get one. But uh, I'm going to try and get discount code Alex, A-L-E-X set up. So try that. Um, otherwise, check the link below. And again, uh, they are taking pre-orders at the moment, meant to be shipping later this year. And another thing on the topic of price, there was no mention of ongoing fees or a subscription or, or anything like that. That is something that Aura Ring have brought out with a lot of controversy. Um, so it's good that it's just one price and, and that's it. Uh, whether that will change, I'm not too sure. Okay, here we have the sizing kit that has arrived. Uh, as you can see, Sleep, Energy, Training, Health, Evolved, Full Circle, Circular, Be More. Um, so let's open this up. And we have the rings in here. We have sizes six through to 15. No, we don't. We have spaces for sizes six through to 15. But as you can see, 14 and 15 are not there. Now, I actually emailed a circular to just see what had happened here. I said, am I missing something or did you not have them? And they said, no, we, we're not, uh, we don't have size 14 and 15 yet. Um, that is planned in the future. So. That is interesting because with the Aura Ring, the biggest size was 13. I'm assuming that the similar size. And I know a few people, um, even 13 was too small unless they put it on their like uh, pinky finger, which they didn't want to do. So it is good to see that Circular are going to be doing larger sizes, um, but it is a bit of a bummer that you can't get them at the moment. We've got uh, some information. So there's actually a code up there. Feel free to use that code. Um, what does it say? Share this code with a friend and family and in, re in rewards, three people can use it. You get $20 off and I get uh, a free accessory if three people use it. So there we go. Um, I'll put that on screen if you do want to use it though. Again, I'm going to try and get a code of some sort discount or a free gift. Um, and that's going to, I'm going to try to get Alex, A-L-E-X. So you can also use that code. So uh, perfect fit for your finger. Choose the size that fits you. You can wear the ring on any finger except your thumb. I remember seeing people with aura rings uh, that used to wear it on their thumb. I thought it was a bit odd. The flat part of the ring should be on the palm side of your hand. The button should be accessible with your thumb. So we'll have a look at that soon. Um, if you're between sizes, get the smaller one. We recommend using it on your non-dominant hand. So that'd be my left hand. Um, wear the sizing ring for 24 hours as your finger changes size. Once you've found the perfect fit, um, you can go in and update your size. If you've placed the order, that's through, through the Circular website. Otherwise, um, head over to Circular and place your order. All right, so let's have a look at the sizes. Now, 
I'm a size 13 with the aura ring, so I'm, I'm gonna assume I'm a pretty similar size. But before we do that, let's, oh, let's have a look at the ring itself. You may not be able to see this, but there is that flat bit at the base of the ring here. Uh, and, oh, and there is a little bit of a sensor uh, where it must go down here. Remember, these are just plastic sizing rings. There's nothing in them. But um, that flat base bit, that's meant to go at the bottom of your, your, your finger. So this is obviously different to the aura ring, which was rather round the whole way um, through the ring. Now, the other thing is on the side here, on the outside, and you may be able to see this, there's a little... Um, raised point there and now that is the button that is the button that the ring has which is pretty cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this on my finger let's put on my ring finger first um it's quite loose on there so yeah um I, i'm going to put it on my ring finger next to my aura ring it's a bit tight getting over that knuckle <laughs> it's probably a bit too tight Hey, I'm going to have to go with the 13 because I don't do 14s. Uh, so you can see it next to the O-ring there. Now remember this is just the mock-up, so I don't know if it's going to be 100% the same size. If it is, it's a little bit wider than the O-ring, um, but it, it actually looks to be a little bit less thick than a, I mean, anyway, who knows? Oh, who knows? I'm not too sure. But anyway, um, and you can see that little button. Maybe you can't. There's a little that little button down there, which is pretty cool because, yeah, my thumb can just tap it. So it will be interesting to see what I can do with that button. You know, you can have your hand in your pocket and tap that button discreetly and, I don't know, unlocks the alarm to your house or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. I'm not going to be able to get that off at the moment. I'm going to have to use water to get that off, which is a bummer. I will go with the size 13 because I can't go any bigger. And as you can see, that's already pretty tight. I may even have to use that on um, a different finger. So yeah, that is the sizing kit. Now I'll just go over to the website and update my order. Or of course, if I hadn't already ordered, go to the website and place the order. That's all for this video. If you've got any questions and if there's things you want me to test and, and report on when I do my first impressions video and of course the full review, leave those comments below. If you do want to order one of these, um, yeah, try use discount code Alex or, or code Alex, but um, check the comments in case that code has changed. And um, otherwise, be sure to subscribe because when I do get the full ring, the real deal, I will be doing some videos on that. I will talk to you later. I hope you've enjoyed this. See ya.